Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shantae's Way here today. And today I'm going to be um, showing you guys some of my favorite hair masks, um, some of my favorite skincare. So it's going to be a lot of my favorite items in this video. Well, not a lot because I don't like to put too many of my favorite items because I don't have like a whole widespread of, of favorites because I take a while to kind of like figure if I like something. So now I've showed you guys Holy Grail pro products um, when it comes to deep conditioners throughout my channel and they've always been very consistent. But today you guys are going to see some um, products that I've never mentioned um, as a favorite on my channel before because they're kind of some of these are kind of new products and some of them I have deemed as my favorite but I've never put it on my YouTube channel and actually told you guys yeah we're gonna go ahead and get right into this video thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content and let's go ahead and get started okay so last time you guys liked when I broke up the products where I was talking about high-end products and then I broke it off and talked about the affordable collections that I like. Now, since this is hair masks, my hair masks, I'm not gonna lie, are normally pretty luxury when it comes to my deep conditioners because I only like a particular type of deep conditioner and I feel like that a deep conditioner should be really, really good. But these products, surprisingly, some of these that I'm gonna show you are kind of like in the middle. So you don't have to spend a lot. And I'm also gonna be showing you guys all natural, straight from the earth products that I absolutely love to put in a lot of my DIYs. I wanted to give something for everyone in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, the DIY ingredients, yeah. So the first ingredient I have here is, and this is like, this has been already been used and cut and stuff, so <laughs> I know that this is kinda like looking a little bit ratchet, but this is aloe vera. And aloe vera plant is so beneficial for hair growth and also moisturizing the hair and bringing a lot of shine to the hair. Aloe vera is a very healing plant. It is a very nutrient dense plant and it's good for your face, it's good for your hair, it's good for sores, any type of scarring. And I like to put it, mix it into my DIYs. Sometimes I even use aloe vera by itself. I don't like using it straight, I've, I've mentioned this on my channel before, I don't like using it straight from the plant and putting it onto my hair. I like to like blend it up with different oils and stuff in the blender and then put it on my hair. I have tried it on my actual hair before um, and it still works, but it just gives me like an itchy feeling on my hair when I use it straight from the plant sometimes. So I like to blend this up, but this is an amazing ingredient to have in your deep conditioners. You guys comment and ask me where I get some of my ingredients from or where do I get um, the, the food I eat and things like that. I use Amazon Prime and I just order from Whole Foods or I'll physically go to Whole Foods and go shopping. Definitely wanted to mention to you guys that you can get your groceries through Amazon Prime and Amazon Prime basically goes through Whole Foods and any type of ingredients that you wanna get that are like natural or organic for your hair mask or things like that, you can get straight from Amazon Prime. Now, if you don't have Amazon Prime, then um, you would probably have to go to the actual store, of course. So this next product that I have is the apple cider vinegar and I got this from Amazon Prime as well. Um, the Amazon Prime app, I got it from Whole Foods. Amazon Prime brought it to me, you guys get it. So apple cider vinegar I've been using for so long. Um, since the beginning of my natural hair journey, when I first heard that people were like using apple cider vinegar, I was kind of skeptical about it. It smelled really bad. But when I put it on my hair and I seen the results, I felt as though you know what, I'm gonna keep using this. And I actually started to see a lot of shine. Um, it just strips your hair of everything that's in it. If you want to do like a reset on your hair, apple cider vinegar is really good. Um, I will say that you wanna get the apple cider vinegar that is with mother. So it's gonna say on the bottle with the mother and that's the one that you wanna get. You don't wanna just get an, a bottle that just says apple cider vinegar. So this is organic apple cider vinegar. The one that I usually get is the Bragg's brand, but at Whole Foods, the Bragg's brand sometimes at my Whole Foods is a lot more expensive than the other brand. So I decided to give this brand a, a try. And it just says that it's organic and it has with mother on it. And that's pretty much what I look for. So it says on the bottle that it's nutrient rich, non-GMO, gluten free, and it has live cultures in it. So 
I started out thinking this stuff stinks. I still think it stinks, but I now drink it sometimes. Me and my boyfriend, we drink it sometimes. Um, I use it a lot in a lot of my foods. I use it to make dressings. So I went from thinking that this was gross and only using it for my hair to finding out more about it health-wise and actually um, having it in my diet. <laughs> okay, so this next ingredient is organic honey. You guys have seen this on my channel a lot. So this brand here is Nature's Nates. Nature Nates Natural. It says 100% pure, organic, raw, and unfiltered honey. And of course it's gluten-free and organic. So of course I got this from Whole Foods through Amazon Prime. And um, this just brings a lot of shine to your hair. So notice when I do my apple cider vinegar rinse, I either pick, I normally don't put these two ingredients together because they both bring tons of shine. So if I need to add any type of shine to a certain mask or something like that, always um, put honey in it because honey gives your hair so much shine. It's also packed with a lot of vitamins and I also love the fact that it leaves your hair feeling very, very soft once you wash it off. Also helps with hair growth. Yeah, so honey is a very good ingredient to have in your deep conditioner um, and I highly recommend that one as well. It sounds so weird, highly recommending um, like straight up ingredients, but if you're making DIYs and you add those three ingredients to your DIYs, it just takes them up a notch. So I, like I said, I really do think that you guys should try that out. All right, so those were the pure, all the way pure ingredients that I wanted to shed light on. Now I'm gonna move on to the store brought um, conditioners and the conditioners that you can find online. Um, some of these conditioners, well, most of the conditioners I'm gonna name, you can't get on Amazon Prime, but you can get them online, which is amazing as well because you're supporting a online company. So let's go ahead and get started with the first one. You guys seen this on my channel. I tried this out and I was so amazed. It's the Kalia Intensive Conditioner. Now, I use this as a deep conditioner. It says intensive conditioner, and I do think you're supposed to use it as a deep conditioner. That's what I use it as, and it is 100% amazing. This is a really, really good line. So, it doesn't have a smell to it. Most natural, pure natural um, deep conditioners and products, they either have a very natural smell, like a flower or a sweet smell, or they don't have a smell at all. So this is a um, company that really does stand by natural products and their products don't really have um, overbearing smells and this doesn't have a smell at all. So love the fact that this deep conditioner does make your hair feel very moisturized. It makes it feel very soft. Only thing I noticed is when you wash off the actual deep conditioner, your hair doesn't feel as soft as when you're putting the conditioner on. So it kind of like, I wish that my hair would feel like as soft as it does when the deep conditioner is on, but your hair still feels soft. It's not like you wash it off and it's like, oh, okay, that, that conditioner played me. <laughs> it still feels amazing love the fact that this company uses all in organic ingredients so let me see what is actually in here so this product actually does have coconut oil in it it also has echinacea in it which I think is amazing they also have nestle in it um, horsetail so this has a really good ingredients in it and when I first used it I was blown away you guys to really check out this deep conditioner okay, so we're talking about my holy grail and I had to be honest I know you guys are gonna be like oh we knew that was coming but I have my deep conditioner here this is my holy grail deep conditioner no lie like I love this stuff and I swear like everyone loves this deep conditioner this is a really popular deep conditioner so I'm not the only one who says this um, so as far as like on my website but um, yeah, it's a hydration and strength and treatment mixed with rich oils and mango butter. It's a pink honeysuckle plus mango deep conditioner. I mentioned this on my channel so much that it's almost redundant, but like I said, I really love this. It's always half used. I never, <laughs> I never have a full container to show you all because I'm always using this. So this is super moisturizing to your hair. It's formulated very well. It has rich butters in it. It has rich oils in it. It has hibiscus in it. It has rosemary in it. It's just a extremely nutrient dense conditioner. And it was all done naturally and it was all done with organic and natural ingredients. 
so highly recommend this it is currently sold out on my website it's doesn't stay in stock long at all so this is currently still sold out on my website so you guys can't unfortunately you can't get this as of now but in the next few like months or so you should be able to go on on my website and get this but i'll update you guys exactly when i'm able to put this back on the website and a lot of you guys have on your notifications i've seen um, on the website that a lot of you have been turning on that notify me when available so a lot of you are already on it but i will notify you guys as soon as this is available but this is definitely holy grail it makes your hair feel very nourished like you just went and put a deep conditioner on your hair and it just revived your whole life so it's really good deep conditioner that's all i have to say on to the next one so this next treatment that i have is from the innate life and i mentioned the innate life herbal mask in my last video but i never talked about the um actual scalp treatment so this is a scalp treatment i think i mentioned to you guys that i like this but i didn't have any more of it so the scalp treatment and this is the one for normal scalp. I think they have one for dry scalp as well. And this is for intense hydration and repair. So this is basically like a grease texture. So this is what it looks like. And this is basically a bunch of oils put together. She does have so many avertic oils and um, herbs in here. So like I said, this product is definitely going to help your hair to grow. All the ingredients in this product are organic as well. So that's also a plus. I also like the fact that none of her products are toxic. This product in particular doesn't have any unnatural ingredients in it. So basically I was confused when I first got this product what to do. So basically what I personally do, um, I put it on my scalp and I allow it to sit and so this is something that i use in conjunction with a deep conditioner so i'll have my scalp treatment on and then i'll actually put a deep conditioner on and i'll leave them both on and normally i use this when my scalp is feeling like really itchy or if i just feel like my scalp is super dry or if my hair is like super dry i'll put this on my scalp and then i'll put it on the ends of my hair and it really just helps with um bringing your scalp back to like life and i also have used this on naraya's hair as well this is something that actually works on type 4 hair so remember i told you guys that her herbal mask normally works like well i found that it worked on my hair although with naraya's hair it kind of like soaked it up whereas this scalp treatment actually does work on her scalp and love it so much so this is an all-around good product oh i didn't even see that there's neem oil in there so neem is amazing for hair growth okay, so those are my holy grail um like hair masks and like i said you can't find those on amazon none of those on amazon but you can find them on the website so i have everyone's website linked below okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and move on to my holy grail stash of um skincare which is pretty small because um, I don't like to put a lot of stuff on my skin. So let's go ahead and get into skincare. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the actual like face mask. So this fir first face mask, I've mentioned it on my channel before, is from the Huna Skin. And it's their cleansing powder with coconut, banana, and licorice root. So this is actually a powder, if you guys can't see that. It's an actual powder and you have to add in water or apple cider vinegar to actually activate it to be a um, actual mask so thing with this is you don't use a lot of this you only use like a pea size amount and then you rub it all over your face and it gives you like this really really silky glowy look and feel to your face so this is a 2.6 ounce bottle but i've been having this for months upon months i think i first got this in two in early 2019 um so this is something that goes a long way it is 60 dollars on her website um, but like I said, it goes a long way and it does actually help your skin and you don't have to worry about any chemicals. All she uses in here is, um, clays, but it doesn't really draw your skin as hard as normal, normal clays does because she has a lot of other ingredients in here like coconut milk, rice powder, lavender flowers, banana extract. Um, she also has echinacea in here, which heals the skin from the inside out. Echinacea is an excellent herb. And all of her ingredients come from organic farming. This is a super natural, pure product. And I do recommend this if you have um, a special spot in your heart for natural products. And if you've had skin problems, definitely recommend that you switch to more natural 
skincare because even though they're kind of higher up on the price they are higher up on the price for a, for a reason and your skin is most likely going to respond well to these products after continuous use so like i said this is another one that i consider holy grail and i highly recommend to you guys so this next product you guys may be familiar with this brand and this brand is i always say it wrong i think it's acure acure i know someone's going to correct me in the comment section so this is the pore clarifying red clay mask with moroccan red uh, clay and argan extract and it's for all skin types so i use this on my skin i used to have a full bottle of this but naraya used it all up i was so sad so i actually don't have any more this is actually a empty bottle <laughs> but this stuff is so amazing um they did such a good job on this clay mask and i need to get like a huge bottle of this this was actually sent to me i believe no it was not sent to me i actually found this in tj maxx i was so surprised because i've never seen these products in tj maxx but tj maxx and like marshall's and stuff like that you never know what you'll find in there so i actually found this there but they actually have this on amazon as well i will recommend that if you get the 1.7 you get two of them because i only got like maybe two uses out of it and then Araya got like what two uses out of it so we only got like four uses out of it so, but this is so good and I would definitely repurchase this it has a smell to it but the smell is very faint and I don't even know what the smell is it doesn't smell bad and it doesn't smell good it just has like a really neutral smell to it okay so this next product is by my company Norse by Shantae and this is the silk hydrate ultra soothing three-in-one face toner and I absolutely love this toner. It's mixed with calendula flower. So that's why, I mean, it's half empty, but you guys see like those calendula flowers down there. And these are actual flowers that are in this formula. And then there's actual flowers that are um, infused into the formula. So this is a super jam packed formula and it just makes your face feel so hydrated. I usually seal it in with this oil that I'm about to show you guys, which is a Nourish by Chante Silk Glow Oil. And this also has real flowers in it. So this is roses. And this is the Silk Glow Rose Botanica Full Body and Face Oil. So this oil is formulated to give your skin like a really glowy effect. So I was finding that a lot of the products that give you like the glow pads and stuff that give you that glowy effect, they normally have like tanners in them or tints in them to tint your skin or some type of chemical in them so i decided to go ahead and create a product that was all natural but still gave you that nice glow and you guys seen how i used it on my last video where i was talking about how i grew back my edges and how to naturally look nice without makeup you guys seen how i used it there and that's how i use it all the time that's and that's how naraya uses it on her skin as well because i've taught her the routine as well so i highly recommend these two products i will say that um you should get them together because they actually go really well together so i have them on my website as a duo so you can get them both you can get them both together when it comes to the smell the calendula hydrate drops they don't really have this one doesn't really have a strong smell it doesn't have a smell at all it smells mainly just like flowers um but not artificial just the flowers that are actually in here whereas this one with the rose glow oil it's gonna smell like a cherry geranium type of smell um, and the reason why it has a cherry smell in it is because it has cherry seed oil in here um, which is actually very very amazing for the skin because of the antioxidants that are in that oil now this next product i'm going to show you guys is from pharmacy and it's their daily greens oil free gel moisturizer so i got this sent to me by the pharmacy and i never did try it out because i was just like oh well i don't really know i don't really like trying out new things on my face but I seen that it was sitting and sitting and sitting and I was like, I'm just gonna see if I like it So I actually tried it out. So this is a moisturizer and it's the daily greens oil-free Moisturizer and I tried it out and I absolutely love this stuff and the fact that you don't have to use a lot So this is a 1.7 ounce But it goes such a long way and I love the fact that the product is very 
natural it has a natural feel to it doesn't feel artificial on your skin so those are my holy grab products that i wanted to share share with you guys and i wanted to kind of do like a favorites like my products that i my all-time favorite products as of now currently what i'm using i wanted to show you guys because you guys love that last video that i posted of my um favorite products for hair growth and i'll have that linked here or at the end of the video for you guys to check out if you want to check out that video but i just love sharing my favorites with you guys so i think i'm going to make this like a regular thing on my channel where i share um stuff that i'm currently like using and love with and share it with you all so if you would like to see that type of video and more of those type of videos then let me know down in the comment section or thumbs up this video so i'll see you guys in my next one bye